Let's take a look at the drop-in anchor. A drop-in anchor consists of an outer single piece body, expanding body, an expander plug, which is always assembled internally within the product, and that is sometimes held inside the sleeve or the body with a little cap. That is how the assembly is provided in the packaging. It should never be in components. If it is in components, discard those components. Additionally, if ever a product is seen that is see-through, i.e. it has no expander plug inside, that needs to be discarded as well. It is not fit for use. Please also understand that for all drop-in anchors, a proprietary setting tool is required to correctly set the expander plug inside the body of the anchor. This is a mandatory item. One of the other easy factors relating to drop-in anchors is that typically the drill hole depth will be the anchor length unless otherwise specified. So very simply mark off the drill bit to match the anchor length so that when we do the installation and install the anchor into the drilled hole the anchor will be flush with the concrete surface. Having marked the drill hole location in accordance with the project's documentation, place the drill bit, ensure alignment in both planes and commence drilling. Again, in this case, we'll use the blower to evacuate the bulk of the dust. Single brush. And then a final blow. Now, somewhat differently to the installation of the other mechanical anchors, we do the install of the drop-in anchor without the fixture in place. As you can see there, our drill hole is uh, probably one or two mil deep. It's gone a little bit shy of the surface. That will still be an effective set. We take the appropriate setting tool, place into the anchor and using an appropriately weighted mash hammer, set the plug into the body of the anchor. Installation is complete when the tool shoulders out on the top of the anchor. So unlike the torque controlled expansion anchors, this anchor is now set independent of any torque that we apply to the bolt being placed into the insert. All that's left to do, place the fixture, get the appropriate bolt and, and install the bolt in accordance with the specification.